Hello, I'm Dennis Kelderman with Team Structures. Today, we'd like to talk about uh, two ATA repairs that have been released recently. And this, this video is, is uh, not going to be embedded. It's just going to be a companion. You may receive it along with the Team Structures person that sent you the ATA repair. as just some, some helpful hints, kind of walking through the, the ATA repair. This ATA repair will cover both 680 and 750 trailing link axles uh, and give you a little bit of a history upon uh, wh why we have, have come to this point of developing an ATA repair. We have had occasion where we've had a very small portion of corrosion found on an axle and had really nothing in writing uh, for reference material uh, coming from Cessna Engineering say that there was any way of repairing it or allowing it to continue in service. What this uh, ATA repair addressing the 680 and the 750, uh, what they are allowing us to do is to be able to blend a small portion of corrosion uh, from the surface of the axle without uh, going through the chrome plating. And that's, that's a very important uh, thing in this presentation and, and as you uh, go out, uh, go about trying to uh, and, and accomplishing the ATA repair is that if the chrome finish is penetrated, basically you have a scrap part because uh, in order for an axle to be rechromed, it would have to be removed and replaced, of course, or reinstalled at a later point. That's cost costly, and to the chroming uh, process is costly, and so all those things put together, it's it's uh, cost effective to do a blend repair but it's not cost effective if, if the uh, chrome is penetrated. So that is our limitation. We don't have a, a quantification per se written in the ATA repair addressing the 750 and the 680 axle, but it simply says that we are allowed to blend uh, small amounts of corrosion as long as we do not penetrate the chrome plating. So we look at our article here We've got a shop aid that we're using today, and we've got an, an area uh, that we want to blend. Uh, one of the things that I'd like to uh, uh, point out is that uh, this ATA repair, these ATA repairs, I should say, for 680 and 750 models are meant to do on wing or with the axle installed in the trailing link. I, I want to reinstall reinstate uh, reedify that because uh, it, it's very important that that we're trying to give relief and we're trying to give relief as cost effective for the operator well the next thing I'd like to point out is that uh, the area that can be blended is really uh, any area from I'll bring this around from the the chromed area We'd want to probably, of course, we want to stay away from the slotted area here, but it's really any area there that, that we see. It's not limited to uh, just one portion of it, uh, but we want to be able to, let's just say that the, the corrosion is, is, is right up against the base. Well, we don't have any way of carrying our blend out. Uh, it, let's just say we want to do a 20 to 1 blend ratio. Uh, we don't have any way of extending that 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 blend uh, further inboard, so we'd want to be uh, far away from that, of course, or at least a, at least a tenth of an inch. I shouldn't say far away; it sounds large. But um, so what we'll do now is go ahead and and accomplish uh, some blend area, some blend, and see uh, if we can stay within the uh, the plated area. So let me get calibrated here. I'm using a Starrett depth caliper. 
got a little area right here that I want to blend. I'm using a commonly called a Bright Boy. Uh, you'll see in the shop. Uh, what I like about it is it uh, we can pinpoint our blend. We, we call out um, using paper uh, like emery cloth, that sort of thing, uh, in the ATA repair. Uh, but what I like about this is that that's soon going to take up a lot of area if we follow the the contour of the axle. And so we can kind of pinpoint things with with using a bright boy. kind of find out where I'm at because you can always go slow but it once you go too far then it's too late okay I'm gonna give this just a little bit more Okay, corrosion seems to be removed. Want to zero our device. And surprisingly, put these bifocals on. doesn't appear like we removed very much so that the chrome is quite a hard surface I, I what I've been doing is is getting my zero very close and I drop into the blended area and I'm showing about one and a half thousand so not a concern at all and I am not through my uh, chrome so I've met the requirements. Because it's a chrome plated surface, we're not going to apply primer as we do in some of our other ATA repairs for blending axles. And I want to point that out, that what we have to do is simply cover that area, wipe the area with some of the same grease that we're using on the wheel bearings. And that's a good shot practice uh, no matter what kind of axle surface we have. Just a light coating of that grease is going to do a good job of uh, absorbing any moisture, protecting uh, the area from the elements. So, and, and I think especially as we consider these axles staying in service uh, for some period of time, we don't know, and it's very difficult uh, on, a, on a chrome axle surface to see where the blends are, make sure you got a nice a thin coat of grease on that to protect the area. Well, I hope this video has been helpful for you. If you have any questions concerning the ATA repair for the 680 or 750 trailing link axle, uh, give us a call at Team Structures at 316-517-6061 or drop us an email at csstructures at txtav.com and we'll get back with you and see if we can uh, answer your question for you.